It's not an if, but when for autonomous vehicles. This is a solved problem. The future will have no drivers. Cars will be piloted solely by algorithm. Today we imagine what can happen when this is a job I'll take. I mean, she could try to get me to take less. That shit ain't happening, bro. I'm fucking owed half. Well, she can say it to my fucking face, cause I'm on my way over there now. Arriving, your journey has been prepaid by the party that ordered it. Hear that shit? She don't even think I can show up on time. Fuck! Recovery system. Identity verified. CEO. What do you think, hack? Uh, my money would be on human error, I think. But there's no humans, isn't that the whole idea? Well, the log says no breach, no malfunction. So you're saying it went rogue? At 1800, what? LiDAR detects a sudden obstacle in the road, car swerves to avoid. Here is the front camera right before the swerve. So, it looks like we got a homeless person that jumped in front of the car. Not homeless. The shoes, man, they're too nice. Okay, well, a drunk, whatever, but it's human error. That human. Also, why doesn't our car recover from the swerve? Uh, let's see. After the swerve, car 467 is on a collision course with car 328. Given the tight space and traffic, the only options were head-on collision or one of the cars diverting itself into the wall. The two cars communicate, and it was agreed that 467 would be the one to divert. So our car's like, fuck it, we'll take one for the team? Uh, yeah. Why? Um... Can we see car 328? Uh, yeah, we should be able to access the cloud backups from here. Welcome, Mina, James. Your journey has been prepaid by the party that ordered it. Second passenger added. Welcome, um, Pearl Chu. Claim order double, didn't you get the email? <sighs> Shit. You cool with that? Yeah, I just never... Oh, we've never done one before. They're pretty easy. It's usually some startup nerd fulfilling a fantasy. <laughs> That's it, huh? Nothing special? Cars just decide to save them over the guy? <laughs> I mean, I'd do the same, but why would the cars do it? Uh, I'm... I've, uh, it's I've, a trolley problem. From philosophy. I was a computer science major. A trolley. With one person in it, heading toward five people tied to the track. One, two, three, four, five. Now, you can pull a lever that sends this trolley onto another track and over the cliff. It kills the one person, but you save the five people. Do you pull that lever? So, I pull the lever, one person dies, I don't, five people die? Exactly. Seems obvious. Okay, but you pull that lever, you're a murderer. You don't. Just a bystander. <laughs> I think the court would understand. Not a legal question, it's a moral question. Y yeah, I uh, pulled the lever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So did our car. Two lives versus one. That could be right. If an accident is unavoidable, the cars are programmed to prioritize children over women over men, and, and, and of course, if there are multiple passengers, that would be prioritized over a single passenger, so... So, you pulled the lever. And you told the cars to pull the lever, too. Dispatch, can we get a current geolocation for the next of kin? Next of kin is ex-wife Vivian Lee, currently commuting home in ride car 529. Oh, here she is. I can, uh, I can reroute her here if you want. We'll catch her at home. Hey, what are you going to tell her? We'll tell her it was an accident. Human error. 